Queen Camilla and Princess Anne joined King Charles today in Scotland for the annual Bramer Gathering, a traditional Scottish Highland Games. Queen Camilla and Princess Anne looked stunning today as they stepped out in Scotland alongside King Charles. The royal trio were all smiles as they attended the Bramer Gathering in Bramer, central Scotland. Queen Camilla rocked a green blazer and green skirt, both featuring a stylish tartan pattern. Camilla opted for green skirt featuring white vertical and diagonal stripes, which fell to just below her knee. She paired this with a chic olive green jacket which boasted the same tartan pattern across the collar. The blazer was fastened with some central buttons which nipped the queen in at the waist. Camilla accessorized with a dainty chocolate brown hat which boasted a brown and white striped feather. Some finishing touches to the look included camel-colored kitten heels and a cream handbag, and of course the lucky bracelet she is rarely spotted without. Princess Anne looked wonderful beside her sister-in-law wearing a vibrant red jacket and matching hat. Like Camilla, she also went for a tartan look with her skirt, opting for forest green with yellow and red vertical and diagonal stripes. She wrapped up with some navy accessories, including some cozy gloves, handbag and kitten heels. The fashionable royal ladies kept their makeup simple, although Princess Anne decided to rock a red lip in keeping with her monochromatic look. Both opted for earrings, Queen Camilla sporting her signature clip on pearls and Princess Anne a pair of pearl studs. King Charles looked dapper in a colorful kilt, beige waistcoat and jacket, finishing off the look with some woolly red socks. The royal family originally started attending the games in the in the mid-1800s when Queen Victoria and Prince Albert purchased the castle. It comes almost a year to the day after the late Queen Elizabeth was forced to miss the event over her ailing health and mobility issues. She would pass away some days later. Attending in place of his mother last year, the then Prince Charles officially opened the Queen Elizabeth Platinum Jubilee Archway during the festival before presenting awards to the top performing competitors as the events across the day. The archway was opened last year to commemorate the Queen's historic 70 years on the throne in recognition of Her Majesty as a patron of the world-famous event. While she could not attend it in person last year, the late Queen was able to watch from the comfort of Balmoral as the events were streamed online. 